Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we will learn how we can update multi-select picklist value using the Salesforce record trigger flow. So in Salesforce, the multi-select picklist field allows us to select multiple values for a single field. So we can update the values of this multi-select picklist field with the manually from the object manager. But we can also automate the process of updating this multi-select picklist value using a Salesforce flow. So in this video, I will explain how we can create a record trigger flow that will auto update the multi select picklist field in, in the object records and before that i would like to tell you about our newly launched salesforce admin course so first let me show you the course content then we will continue to the topic so this is the salesforce admin course and we have posted it on our website and i will also post the link for this course in the description from where you can access this course so these are the modules that we have covered in this course. So it's a beginner to advanced level Salesforce course and it, there are 9 plus modules and 20 plus hours SD video. And you will also get the PDFs and the certification after the completion. And also there is an offer for 50% discount for the early birds. So, so these are the modules and the contents that you are going to get in this course. And if you subscribe this course right now, you have to pay only $99 instead of $199. So even if you are a beginner, then you will understand each and everything in this course. And to get this course, you can redirect to our website. And from there, you can subscribe to this course. So now let's move back to our So right now, I have logged into my Salesforce developer console. And here we will create a record trigger flow that will update the picklist multi-select field of opportunity object. So first let me show you the multi-select picklist field that we are going to update with the help of this record trigger flow. So from object manager I will navigate to the opportunity object. And in the fields and relationships of this opportunity object you can see these are the fields. And the picklist multi-select field that we are going to update is the states. So this is a custom picklist multi-select field. And as we click on it we can see the values that are being assigned to this picklist multi-select field so for example these are the name of states of different countries and what we are going to do with the help of this record trigger flow is that whenever we select the field country as united states of america so the picklist multi-select field will will show only those states that are in usa so for example if i select country as usa it, it will display only the picklist multi-select field as new york california florida and colorado it will not show the states that do not belong to usa so how we are going to do that so let's move ahead and see the process of creating that record triggered flow by which we will update the picklist multi-select field so for that again i will navigate to the setup page of salesforce and in the quick find box search and select flows and in the setup window of the flow click on the new flow button so here we will create this record trigger flow from scratch so i have select the option start from scratch and click next and here in this window select the option record trigger flow and click on the create button so here in this first step we have to configure the record trigger flow so the object here it's going to be the opportunity and in configure trigger condition we will select the option a record is created or updated and it is optional that you can also add the set entry conditions for this record trigger flow but in this example i am not going to do that after configuring the trigger condition we will add the update record element to the flow and here we will enter the label so the label that i'm going to enter here is update opportunity states and the API name will be autofilled as we click on it and under the heading how to find records to update and set their values select the option use the opportunity record that triggered the flow and after this we will add the filter conditions for that select the option all conditions are met so here select the field country this is the custom field that I have in my opportunity object and the value is going to be united states of america so that means it will filter the records where the value of the field country will be united states of america and in the section select field values for the opportunity records select the field states and the and for the value we will create the new resource so the resource type is going to be the formula and then you can enter a relevant api name for this resource here i am entering the api name as select us states and the data type is going to be the text so the formula i am going to enter here will pick the values that i am going to use in this formula 
and the value of states should be in the inverted comma i am entering the value of the states or you can directly copy the values from pick list multi select field and the value should be separated by a semicolon and after entering all the values of pick list multi select values i will close the inverted comma and also the bracket so after this click on the done button and save the flow so here i have to enter the flow label and the flow api name so after entering the flow label as why as we click on the flow api name it will be auto filled and after entering the label in the api name click on the save button so before activating the flow it will be better that we will debug it so to debug the flow click on the debug button that is in the flow builder and in the debug window we will run the flow for the updated records and here we have to select the opportunity so in the opportunity we will update the country as united states of america so the country we will select here is united states of america and then we will click on the run button and now you can see the flow is completed and we can also see the how the records updated and on the right hand side of the debug window we can see pick list multi select field is updated so with this we can say there are no errors in our flow and after debugging we will activate the flow for that we have to simply click on the activate button so when we are trying to activate the flow we are getting this error so it is in the formula that we have used in our flow so let's check what the error there is in the formula so the formula so this is the formula resource that we have created so it was saying that uh, it is it has expected two values but we have entered only one so here i will enter null and then again click on the check syntax so here now it is showing that it is valid so now click on the done button and again we need to save the flow and now click on the activate button so now the flow is activated now we will navigate to the opportunity and there we will update the records according to the applied criteria so here right now i am on the opportunity tab, and here i will select the opportunity record texas housings and to update the fields i need to open this records in edit window so in this opportunity records you will select the country as united states of america and you can see as of now and as of now states are also displaying the name of states in our city that, that are not from usa so after updating the country field to usa click on the save button so after updating the country field as usa we will go back to the states field so now we can see the state field is only displaying the usa states only so this is how we can update the pick list multi-select field in the salesforce using the record trigger flow so this was all about updating the pick list multi-select field using the salesforce flow and i hope that you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye